All right. Hi, everybody. First Alert Meteorologist Zach Webster here. We're here with another look at the river flooding uh, from around the western slope due to the melting of a snowpack. We'll kind of switch back and forth in between the uh, flood alerts that we have still in effect, and then we'll take a look uh, at some of the river gauges kind of switching back and forth between those. So we'll start out with a wider view of the flood alerts from around the western slope. We've still got several in effect. Fortunately, for some of these across the northern portions uh, of the western slope, some of these should start to to, uh, expire over the next day or two, but uh, it's still the biggest sp problem spot right now are these two here, the flood warning uh, in effect for Dolores County and the flood uh, for the Dolores River, I should say, and then farther off toward the south, we have that flood advisory for uh, another portion of the Dolores River and then farther down uh, into the San Miguel River. We'll start out with the Dolores River uh, near Cisco, Utah. Uh, there we go. So it uh, looks like we're approaching the peak. Looks like the Dolores River, at least up around Cisco, uh, will peak at around 9 a.m. tomorrow morning at around 15 and three quarters uh, of a foot. Major flood stage 16 feet. So we're well into moderate flood stage here at the Dolores River uh, near Cisco. And uh, as you notice, once we uh, start to peak here, it'll gradually start to make its way back down. But we're still well into um, we're still well in a moderate flood stage, even as these uh, water levels start to go down. Uh, we're watching Highway 141 pretty carefully here along the uh, Dolores River just to the south of Gateway. Uh, if the river flow reaches a certain rate, they will have to close a portion of Highway, Highway 141, which is obviously a major uh, roadway out across that portion uh, of the western slope. And then you notice once we start heading into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, that those numbers start going up. We start getting some warmer temperatures back in here, and it looks like we're going to see our next round of river levels uh, on the rise as those warmer temperatures start to move into the region. Switch back over to our flood alerts here. We'll take you farther off toward the north. Still have that flood watch in effect across the Yampa River Basin until 6 o'clock uh, mountain time uh, tomorrow evening. And within that flood watch, we have a couple of flood warnings. We'll start out with this one. This is the Elk Head. Uh, this is Elkhead Creek flood warning in effect until six o'clock uh, this evening. You'll notice that includes a portion of Highway 40 between Craig and Hayden, and we'll show you the river graphic for it. Here is Elkhead Creek near Hayden, and uh, right now the river is below action stage, so it doesn't look like we're, we should be dealing very much in the way of flooding, uh, but we could momentarily, as we head into the afternoon, see that river level rise back to at least near that action stage. So we may have a little bit of flooding right along the river banks, and as we make our way farther along to the weekend into early next week, it looks like, it looks like we should oscillate kind of uh, just below that action stage. So for good reason, uh, the flood warning goes until six o'clock this evening by around nine o'clock. Saturday morning, we should be back below action stage and for the most part stay below it at least until those temperatures start warming up by the middle of next week. Next flood alert a little bit farther off toward the east and this one actually already has a road closure on it. This is a flood warning for Route County. This also includes portions of Highway 40 and Route County Road 44 has been closed until further notice. This is between Highway 40 and Route County Road 42. Again, that uh, road is closed until further notice. We'll show you uh, the river gauge here. This is the Elk River where this flood warning has been issued. Uh, here is a look at the river gauge at the Elk River, uh, Elk River rather near Milner, currently uh, sitting right at that action stage, but should start to. Uh, should start to decrease a little bit throughout the day today. We'll get another little peak early Saturday morning. Then it looks like we'll start to fall well below that action stage. And again, that flood warning goes until 1230 Saturday afternoon. So again, for good reason uh, that it lasts that long. One final area to show you. This is also over in the northern portions uh, of the western slope. This is a flood advisory for portions of the Yampa River in Moffett County. This goes until 9 a.m. Monday morning we could see some minor flooding at times along the Yampa River, particularly out across a dinosaur national monument and one final uh, flood gauge to show you there. There is the Yampa River near Deer Lodge Park, very close to um, dinosaur national monument. And we're continuing to see uh, 
those flood levels rise or those river levels rise into that action stage. So again, we may get a little bit of minor flooding right along the flood banks of the Yampa River. But again, some of those low lying areas uh, inside of uh, Dinosaur National Monument, you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for uh, flooding as we head throughout the weekend. Then another thing, I mentioned this earlier, we'll pull up seven day forecast. Now this is for Grand Junction, but we can kind of uh, infer some things as we move along here. Uh, there's Friday, Saturday and Sunday temperatures a little bit cooler over the next few days, but then check out Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday. We start to dry out a little bit and we'll get those temperatures back into the middle and upper 70. 74 on Monday, 78 on Tuesday and 75 on Wednesday. So we'll see some cooler temperatures and it'll kind of cause these river levels to kind of drop off a little bit. But notice, and again, we showed you this earlier, especially with the, the, uh, the Dolores River near Cisco. So in Grand Junction will be middle to upper 70s, Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday. And notice what happens early Thursday morning those water levels start to rise once again and we kind of see this pattern on all of these four uh, river graphs. Once we make our way past Wednesday afternoon, start heading into Wednesday evening, start seeing these river levels come back up once again. Elkhead Creek projected to make it into a minor flood stage by the middle to end of next week. The Elk River eventually makes its way back up closer toward uh, action stage by late Thursday and into early Friday. And the same for the Yampa River near Deer Lodge Park. River levels come down throughout the weekend and into the middle of the week. Then once those temperatures start warming up, we'll, for obvious reasons, start to see some more of that snowpack begin to melt off. And it looks like we'll see some of those river levels back on the rise. So uh, this is surely to be the first of what will be many rounds of these river levels coming up around the western slope and causing some flood issues. Uh, that's about all that I have for today. Again, some good news out across the northern portions of the western slope, uh, particularly for a couple of those flood warnings for Elk Head Creek and the Elk River. We'll start to see those warnings uh, expire as those water levels drop back down uh, below action stage over about the next day or two. But again, the big problem spot around the western slope going to be uh, the Dolores and the San Miguel Rivers as those levels continue to remain elevated even as they start to come down throughout the middle of the week. I'll have more updates on the flooding situation coming up on midday. Uh, as for right now, that will do it uh, for now and we'll see you later.